Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my feminine journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at Call Me Princess Nay. You can follow my business page on Instagram at The Indica Woman. And ladies, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can reach as many feminine women as I can across the globe. Ladies, please don't forget to sign up for my Facebook page, Dating and Luxury for Black Women on Facebook. And today's video is being sponsored by Southern Elegance Candle Company. I will speak about the sponsorship later on in the video. Okay, ladies, now let's begin today's discussion. Now, I speak highly on living a soft, romantic, feminine lifestyle, but today I want to teach you how to romanticize your life and things that you can do. Now, I'm also aware we have watched plenty of romantic films and wish they were our own lives. One of the best things about becoming a woman in this generation is that we can literally do or have whatever we want without being held back based on our gender, culture, or race. I know all of the things mentioned today will not be able to be done all at once due to our schedules, income levels, and lifestyles, but we're going to speak about time management, budgeting, and having a high value mindset in addition to having high standards to achieve them all. For starters, let's focus on our wardrobe. Now, I have spoken plenty of times about how to dress like a feminine woman. However, we have plenty of social media pages such as Pinterest, Instagram, or YouTube for inspiration. As a feminine, classy woman, you can focus on materials such as cotton, linen, wool, silk, tweed, or anything that is relatable to a woman to create a romantic style. And you can literally shop any and everywhere for these items. Whatever is your personal style choice, I feel you should go for it. Secondly, creating a feminine space in your home. I would like to speak highly of Southern Elegant Candle Company for this sponsorship. I was sent soy candles such as fresh linen, honeysuckle and jasmine, magnolia and blossom, pine, and fall wax mounts, uh, room and linen spray, and last but not least, a diffuser that are all placed around my home. Now, as you know, fall time and winter is coming and I absolutely love this time of year because it really helps me get into my feminine energy. I can't get enough of these items that were sent to me by this company mainly with the fact that they have scents that really go with the season and that is something that I was looking for when it comes to a black owned brand. It's very hard to come across black owned brands who have those beautiful scents because you know sometimes we go to brands like Bath and um, body works and places like that who has these beautiful like holiday scents and unfortunately a lot of black owned brands do not due to their own target audience but luckily this brand actually reached out to me and I was overly impressed with not only the the way the products smell the packaging but the quality of the products that was my favorite part the quality seems as though it should be placed in stores like Nordstrom's next to brands like Joe Malone and uppity brands like that the quality of the products is nowhere near cheap it's high quality glass and they smell extremely beautiful um one of my favorite scents is the magnolia and blossom i love um, burning that candle like when i'm taking a bath or i'm relaxing studying um, i love spraying the linen spray on my pillowcases because it gives a fresh calming scent when you're about to go to sleep i also love the diffuser in the bathroom so your bathroom can always smell beautiful as well it gives me like a very apple scent which is great for the autumn fall winter time um also uh, in addition to living a feminine journey i think that you should invest in products that gives you the sense that you're looking for when the seasons change where this brand i will drop the link to their website in the description in addition to when i post my instagram review of these products as well in addition to all of that as a feminine woman it's best to create a feminine space in your home where you can go and be yourself some women have their own personal room their own personal bathroom or maybe their kitchen for me it's all over my house now i like getting flowers and placing them in my home to give my home a fresh scent. Typically, I buy always roses, or sometimes I may buy like fake fall flowers that place them in my vases, so then they can um, give me, you know, that fall feel. 
And ladies, regardless if you decide to have real or fake flowers, it's totally fine. It's just for the aesthetic and to make you feel softer. Stores such as like Trader Joe's have plenty of arrangements you can buy each week for affordable prices to give your home a fresh scent. Also, to live a romantic life and to be romantic in all aspects, it's best to remodel your bathroom to a more spa-like experience. This will help with placing towels in a basket, um, having a towel warmer in your bathroom, hanging eucalyptus around your shower head to breathe in during the shower for a more spa experience to give you a relaxing, calming feel after a hot bath to make your body feel more calm after a long day. It's also nice to read a book and wear a face mask, listen to classical music while you're resting in your tub. Sometimes I even add rose petals to my um, water when I'm taking a bath because rose petals and water gives your um, skin a moisturizing feel. A lot of women don't know that, but after you get out of the bath and you have the rose petals rubbing against your skin, you will be just as moisturized as if you're using some form of lotion or some type of body oil. In addition, I like to burn candles while I'm taking a bath or even when I'm taking a shower. And I love to get out and take care of my skin um, because I have dry skin in the winter and I love to moisturize with my favorite plant-based moisturizers. Also, when I'm in the shower, at times I like to do a body scrub and work on my uh, facial products when I get out because I have a whole skincare. Um, body exfoliators is good as well for your skin to give you that baby-like feeling following up with your favorite moisturizer and then when I do step out ladies and I'm all dry and get done that depending on what I want to do for the night I love to put on a silk or satin robe and relax in that with my favorite slippers next as many of you know I am big on perfume which is why I tell all of you to find your signature scent at the moment my mist you or rose and rose is mine I have to find something for the fall and the winter time but typically I wear my scents all year round um, it would make you feel, th the Rose and Rose by Miss Dior, it would make you feel like you're walking through Paris around a bunch of luxury stores surrounded around roses. That's the feeling it gives me, which is very soft and feminine. In addition, I love spraying all over my body, bed and sheets um, at times, mainly if I, if I happen to have a guest, which I haven't had any guests in a long time, but if I happen to have one, it would definitely be something I would spray um, before I go to sleep. However, as... A feminine woman, um, I also like to go to sleep with a silk mask on my eyes because it gives me more relaxing spa-like experience when I go to sleep at night. However, as a feminine woman, I know we are all different and we're all on different levels financially, but you have to find a way to bring luxury into your life. Even if it's affordable luxury or high-end luxury, it doesn't matter. So when it comes to purchasing luxury items for you, no matter if it's a high-end skincare brand or a, or a luxury bag or high-end um, luggage or anything that you consider luxury, it's just good to buy yourself something at least once a month or maybe every three months. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, when it comes to buying staple luxury pieces for yourself, this could include an elegant winter coat that is usually out your price range, but the quality is amazing, elegant winter boots, luxury sunglasses, a beautiful, well-structured handbag, classy jewelry such as pearls, diamond studs, gold bracelets, or whatever your staple pieces may be. I think it's something that you definitely should purchase it yourself to live more of a romantic lifestyle. Because you're romanticizing yourself. And I think that is good for all feminine women to do. I also find it important to wear a brooch as well. Mainly when I'm wearing my tweed in the winter. I would also like to add wearing high quality luxury pieces around your home as well. When it comes to loungewear, comfortable slippers, or even shoes in general. Personally, I feel when you're in your home or out, you are taking the time to get to know yourself. Or know things around you which such as your likes and dislikes. This is also a great way to understand what you love about yourself and pinpoint things that you feel you deserve. This would also help with shaping your attitude and the kind of people you prefer to be around. It would also be good to create a friendship and spaces with other women when you travel to new places that has a more romantic tone. A lot of great places would be the Pilates Center, popular brunch spots, places that serve tea, or anywhere surrounded around luxury, such as the spa or possibly the gym. I would also highly develop 
a feminine habit such as horseback riding, dancing, decor shopping, etc. This is a great way for all how to live a romantic lifestyle because you're doing everything for yourself that makes you feel good and lovely and possibly like even a princess. It's also great to take up cooking classes um, as well as a feminine woman. Last but not least, let's talk about dating. I highly recommend taking yourself on solo dates if you have no one to go with. I want you ladies to experience romantic um, restaurants before getting into a relationship with a man. I, I highly, highly recommend as a feminine woman, you treat yourself to high end things before getting with a man. So then when he comes into your life, he knows how to treat you and things that you expect. I am very big on that. Um, this also would mean taking yourself on luxury trips or cruises, um, having high quality items already, um, high quality home decor, high quality bedding, cookware, get rid of all the plastic in your home, um, such as plastic containers or mismatch hangers and invest into high quality satin hangers which are my favorite or high quality wood hangers to give your wardrobe a more polished appearance also in your home be sure to take care of it with proper dusting and cleaning and a clean scent i would also get rid of plastic in your home such as mitch max dishes and replace them with high quality glass mainly if you have guests over this also would show a man in your life or anybody in your life, like friends, what you deserve and the type of woman that you are. So when they come into your life, they know how to treat you. Overall, whatever you consider a soft, luxurious, romantic lifestyle, I would say keep doing you. Don't feel that you have to lower yourself to feel, make others, one, other people around you feel better. I don't want you to ever do that. This will teach others how to be how you would like to be treated even if you have to hire a service such as like a housekeeper or a chef or anything like that i don't want anyone seeing that this is forced but i want you all to know 